everyone, today we have a thrilling new edition of our interview experience series brought to you by the ILMG. We have the pleasure of hosting two remarkable guests, Tripti Maam and Sagar sir, who have just secured an incredible internship opportunity at ISWP. Congratulations to both of you. I would request you both to introduce yourself. Firstly, starting with sir. Thank you so much. So, my name is Sagar Mishra. I am a third year student of Metallurgical and Materials Engineering and I was born and brought up in Renukut, uh, it is in Uttar Pradesh and recently I have secured two month summer internship at the Indian uh, Steel and Wire Products Limited. Thank you. Thank you Tanisha for today having me here and giving me this opportunity. So, Hi, my name is Rikki Satyam and I am a third year student at Metallurgy at Metallurgy Engineering Branch at MIT Jamshedpur and I got a summer internship at ISWPL, Indian Steel of Iron Product Limited, which is primarily located in Jamshedpur, Jharkhand. Moving ahead with our interview session, my first question would be, as an intern at ISWP during the summer, what would be your assigned role? So, uh, first of all, this is a two-month internship, okay? So, in the starting few days, or you can say for about one week or so, we'll be first, uh, we'll be getting to know about the work environment of the company. And then after that, uh, we'll be assigned with a mentor and a project, okay? And so, we'll be working on that project. That will be a real-time project on certain functionalities of the companies, like how we can reduce something, how we can increase something, something like that. And then at the end of the two months, we'll have to give the presentation. Moving ahead, there is, is there any possibility for intern to receive a pre-placement offer from this company? Like at the moment, IUSWPL uh, do not provide with a pre-placement offer to the students of uh, MMA branch or Metallurgy branch, but they do provide the uh, PPO offer to the interns of other branches. So there is a possibility in future, but at the moment, it is not there. Moving ahead, how much importance does an internship hold for co backgrounds and for the individual who want to pursue their career in co? So, no doubt, actually, internships are really, uh, they provide you an upper hand, no doubt, because whenever you are going for, like, this is a two month internship or so. But when you go for full time offer, so definitely at that point, the employer will already get to know about that this particular child, this particular person has already gone through the screening process once. He has already sailed through that interview process once he has been through that. So it obviously gives you quite upper edge. Uh, but yes, uh, one thing that needs to be taken care of is that even if a person does not secure an internship, that is completely fine. Okay, there is no need to panic in that situation. The most important thing is that you need to calm down. Okay, just go with the flow. And yes, it is important actually, but it's okay. Going ahead, what were the different levels of examination and selection rounds during the recruitment process, and did they include a group discussion? Okay, so first of all, we went through like a series shortlisting, and after that, a pre placement talk was held. So, pre placement talk is basically uh, the way for the company to make the students or the candidates aware about the things that they cannot find on the they are the company's website or the things that can be only told to them through someone who is actually working there like work in environment um, the growth which you will be witnessing in the company if you become a part of it the package the market value of the company and so on and after that a group discussion was uh, a group discussion took place and after that the, those who were selected um, had to appear for uh, the interview process or the interview round which was a combination of hr and technical Interview questions. That was really insightful. Now, moving ahead regarding the HR round, could you cite some examples of the types of questions that were asked, whether it was a real time question or a subjective one? Okay, so, uh, see, we both, I and Tripti, we both had our own uh, different HR rounds. So, telling about my experience, like uh, it was like a very formal HR round which is held. So, first of all, uh, they got to know about some technical questions and then, uh, like, very few technical questions they asked, especially to me. But then there were questions which were totally like how you are going to prove yourself in the company when you enter into the company. So like they were asking questions like what will be your responsibility, how you are going to add on to the values of the company, how you are going to put your expertise into the company being a metallurgist, what will be your roles, how we will be benefiting from you. So there were several questions like these and then some other questions were also there but they were basically like if you have the presence of mind, it has to be your day actually. You can sail through that. So, 
you just have to go there with an open mind you just have to be there with an open mind okay just let the inflow of the questions and just give the outflow as per the presence required there as per the uh, need of that particular time so just be open minded and just go through that easy now what's your take on this so like just like sagar said we both had like different set of questions but there were some questions which were general like the kind of acha questions like why we should only hire you because there are a lot of candidates who have the same kind of knowledge as you have so the questions which were uh, asked from me were mostly from the um, hr background something like that uh, like the questions which i asked what the insight on your personality so that they can actually know whether you are someone who is with vision aligned with the company or not and also there were technical questions asked from me um, from the basic uh, like the, from the basic parts of the subject or theory which we have already learned so those were the questions which were asked from me. okay ma'am given that this company is a hybrid short after organization for placements what specific subject should one focus on for integrating the curriculum given that each semester covers much so uh, considering about the subjects there are two three topics two three subjects which are actually really important so first of all it is iron making then steel making and then they'll provide you with certain choices so you can select subjects of your choice but as per the internships are considered uh, so steel making is not covered till that point in our college okay when the internship companies comes so they just sort after the iron making part and then they'll provide you with they'll ask you like what what are your uh, favorite subjects like that so like i told many manufacturing processes but also physical metallurgy is also really important so you just have to choose your subject and be confident in that so you you should be able to tell the answers into that subject whatever you have chosen and that is going to help you so they provide you the liberty so go with that ma'am what was this in your case okay so um, according to me like in my point of view for any company so any core company that you are sitting for or like appearing for the internship or even placement you must like research about that company that what they actually does because the company is most probably going to ask you the questions um, from the subject which uh, like from which their subject from which their work is related like in the case of ISWPL like they manufacture TMT rods pipes and stuff like that so they are most probably going to ask you the questions from uh, manufacturing processes like the subject which we had in like fifth semester and like um, we like they are making these rods from like big big slabs so how they like what kind of force they are applying and stuff like that so maybe they can ask you questions from mechanical metallurgy so you should always um, be prepared for the subjects uh, the subjects basically which are related to the work that company does so you have to like research about the company first and according to that you have to like select the subject which would be like useful to them if you know the knowledge of that okay ma'am moving ahead with the very pertinent question that is what is the role of cg in an internship so okay fine so uh, cgs do actually play a, a important role okay uh, but yes it is not something which is just to be taken up just to just to run after okay so uh, like as tripti also said that in the interview process uh, not in the interview process but throughout the selection process the first step is cv shortlist so there this uh, cgpa plays a very important role so you need to have a decent cgpa but uh, just try to maintain a decent cgpa because then you'll get shortlisted no doubt but yeah don't run after cgpa only it is the overall knowledge that needs to be there okay that needs to be intact that needs to be kept together cgpa yes it can happen that you might not be able to secure a very good cgpa but yes you are ready So that is a totally different criteria. Okay, so which subjects were the basis of the technical round question during the selection process? Okay, so like as I said, that you have to first like research about the company, um, that what kind of work they does, and they are probably going to ask you the questions from the subjects that they are working with, or like the. application of the theory which they are applying from the subjects in their own like company but apart from that if like on a general level or like um, 
on a general level or like on a broader perspective like the subjects like material science and physical metallurgy because you have to know about the materials their structures and how how that structure like is related to property and performance so you have to like know about that relationship because you are going to like work with materials like diverse variety of materials so of course material science and then physical metallurgy and mechanical metallurgy because like you are converting like big slabs into rods and stuff and you're applying forces so mechanical metallurgy is there and of course heat treatment you or you have to know like even if you don't cover like these subjects in like depths you have, at least you should know like a bit of basics so that even if they ask you uh, like um, randomly something which you have not expected still you can answer at least something and then of course as sagar said previously that iron making and steel making is like some of the most important subjects that we metallurgists must know and apart from that like a bit of manufacturing process um, should you should also know like about casting and um, forging and stuff like that casting and welding lastly how challenging was it to secure a summer internship yeah uh, so it was actually very challenging because uh, the things happen like we have been through like i trip we both were there in many companies right so we both had into different different companies and the gd round was held and we were able to sail through that but then it is a rigorous task the overall day is very tedious you have to go from 9 o'clock in the morning and there are days when you are still there till 9 pm right and there are even some moments when you are not even getting enough uh, opportunity to have your food also so that is something which is very rigorous very challenging in it in itself but yes there are several other challenges also like you go through that particular process in the company and then after that uh, you come back home and then you get to uh, realize that okay i was not the selected one my friend got selected so there are those instances like you have to cope up with that okay so there are some certain sort of like competition going on certain sort of uh, jealousy also happens sometimes yes that's true but yes you have to just go on to that be be open minded be cool because see internships are something which is like not like it is not something which is you just have to get it no it is a part of it okay it is a part of the whole engineering process if you get it well and good if you don't that's completely fine we have different vocational training sweeties right they also provide very similar experience throughout the month okay in those summer internships like what we said so that is completely fine but yes it is challenging no doubt you have to be there you have to go through several you have to face rejections you have to go through the failures a lot of time before getting it anyway but yes be open minded that's it that is really a motivating answer moving ahead do you have any suggestions for upcoming juniors who be participating in the internal selection process soon? so i think that everyone needs to like work on their communication skills a bit like even if their communication skill is nice like there is always some room for improvement like i'm not only saying this for like junior but also for myself as well because um, communication skill is something which is going to like make you stand out in that whole selection process like whole gd thing and like whole interview process because like even interviewer knows that everybody is from the mme branch like metallurgy branch and everybody has uh, studied um, those subjects at least once like even if they have they have not studied like the entire semester they must have studied something during their exams so like they they know about um, at least basic they know something about the subject which they are asking so they all even the interviewers know that thing that everyone knows uh, about the code so what they uh, so how they will be able to like uh, segregate the people from how they can be how they will be able to segregate like the people who they want to um, make the part of their company from the others and that thing is going to be like your communication skills like you know the body language and how you are able to um, represent yourself in front of them so i feel like everybody must work on their communication skill and because it is also not something which you can actually master in like one or two days or maybe like a week or so like you can do in the case of four if you like to start doing it properly maybe you can do it like a one subject maybe you can do it in 10 or 12 days but communication skill is not something which can be like done in uh, like 10 or 12 days it needs to be practiced regularly so that you can actually have a grasp on it so i think that um, communication skill is something which everyone needs to work on uh, so that they can be uh, so that they can appear nicely in gd and also in the interview round Wrapping up this interview with the last question, that is, what were the resources that you guys relied on for your internship preparation? 
so uh, basically as we already told you about like there are certain uh, topics certain subjects that are generally asked because the companies that come in the core sector they mostly rely on their of iron or uh, iron making steel making or something like this, some aluminium companies but they don't offer internships as of now uh, to us so iron making like we have a, a really important nptel lectures are also available at a course book is also available there so you can go on to that okay that that will really help you out and then after that for uh, manufacturing processes and physical metallurgy like the thing is that you don't have to put yourself through a lot you just have to be whatever you are getting it you just have to be clear with that okay just the basics are also quite enough so they don't ask you about too much no there are very few companies that go into very detail but they want to just know about the uh, uh, overall perspective that you have of the subject that you have of the topic and uh, that is going to they will judge you from that and then they'll mold you according to their requirement according to how they want you in their company so that is something that they'll mold you according to that so just be open minded just be open to change just be open just calm down throughout the process okay as you also said communication is really important because that is going to help you in every perspective of your life in every aspect but yes the in my opinion uh, what in the previous question that you asked that what would be your advice my advice would be to just calm down just go with the flow just calm down and whatever happens let that happen but take it in a very positive way thank you sir come to an end of our interview session then that discussion was really engaging and informative thank you sir and ma'am for the voting time for Mr. Bustin's schedule and on the behalf of entire island team we extend our heartfelt congratulations to you and every success in your future endeavors thank you ma'am and thank you sir and to all the viewers out there do subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for such informative videos thank you Tanisha thank you Tanisha Thank you.